Hello world, it's Sammy Kings and in this tutorial I'll be showing you how to properly configure UFW on your Ubuntu web server. Okay, um, UFW actually stands for Uncomplicated Firewall. Well, at first it was a little bit complicated to me, but with time I actually discovered that, it, that it's not really complicated. Okay, so see you right in after the intro. Alright, all right, so let's get started. So for starters, you actually want to check if you have uh, UFW installed because to some um, in, to some Linux distros, they already have it pre-installed but not enabled. So I'm actually on my Ubuntu, uh, on my Ubuntu server that's actually running on Nginx. <coughs> okay, so I'm just going to do sudo rather, sudo UFW status to actually check okay okay so see status is, is inactive uh, in, therefore means that it's actually installed but not activated okay so since it's, uh, it's not activated I could actually quickly set up my firewall rules using UFW and then enable it uh, what well, if yours is actually enabled I would advise you to actually disable it and then set up your firewall rules then check uh, check out uh, then enable them so as not to just get logged out automatically because sometimes it can happen but it has not happened to me but it's just like a check so I'm just going to do okay so the first thing I want to do now is actually add if, uh, a rule usually add a rule and my rule is to actually enable uh, SSH connection because I'm actually connected to this particular machine via SSH. And if I don't enable that, if I don't enable that, and uh, and actually log out of this session, I won't be able to log back in to this particular uh, system because your uh, UFW is actually going to block all connection to port 2020, uh, 20, uh, 20, 22 which is actually default port for ssh so okay, the very first thing i want to do is actually set up a uh before i actually set up the ssh let me quickly set up a a strict rule which is ufw default default now i want to deny all incoming connections so sorry incoming now since i've had, uh denied all incoming now this next step i'm actually going to allow sorry still the default i'm actually going to allow outgoing now so basically i'm saying all connections from the outside world is is actually uh, not enabled on this my machine now it's only from my machine to the outside world I'm actually enabling on this particular on this particular machine so I'm just going to do sudo UFW default allow outgoing now it's actually allowed now if I actually log out it means that I can't log back in again because uh, UFW is actually blocking all incoming connection but we're actually going to make a uh, uh, some holes in this firewall to actually allow incoming connection from the outside world now why will you actually do this it is actually a, uh, a safe practice because uh, you don't want to just go and do uh, ufw allow port this while other ports are still kind of uh, allowing uh, incoming connection so now since i've done that now i'm just going to do ufw 
then I'm, I actually want to allow my port 22 which is basically running on uh, which is uh, actually the default port for SSH and actually using the TCP uh, connection so you can actually do this or you could make it more strict by adding this so now i've and now once you do this is actually going to enable this for ipv4 and ipv6 now this is the ipv6 version of it now if you do uh because uh ufw is not enabled you can't do uh sudo ufw status because it's not actually running but i want to just set up my rules first before i actually enable them so okay so now i've said i've actually allowed my ssh connection so that if i log out of this session i will be able to log back in this which this is my very first step so i don't want to log myself out now the next thing i want to actually do because this is actually uh uh a machine um, because on this machine i have nginx running i and then people from the outside will need to uh, assess my my uh needs to access this machine and they are basically going to do that using http or https although google kind of uh, enforce https but then i actually want to allow so do you have w allow sorry I didn't spell that well then i want to actually allow i can actually do http like this or you could do it you could do the port number which is this and also specify the connection so this now you can see if i've actually added that just going to change this now to support 443 and now you could see so now I've actually so from the run that i've actually allowed um though i've denied all incoming connections but on this three uh on this three ports i'm actually allowing incoming connections mm -hmm. so the very first one is i'm allowing ssh connection i'm allowing uh, http connection i'm also allowing uh, https connection from the outside world okay so now i could actually do sudo ufw enable and then click on yes now my firewall is now in is, is now active so i can then do sudo sudo ufw status to see all my uh, active firewall rules as now you can see it's actually it's actually uh, up and running but now um let's say you want to actually do um stuff like port forwarding now you actually have two ways you could do that um you, um, you can actually do your port forwarding you can actually do your port forwarding via your ip tables or you could actually do it still with uh ufw but then ufw doesn't have a a, a straight out of the bat method to actually uh, do port forwarding you have have to actually um edit the uh the ufw file so this is the file we're actually looking we are actually going to edit so let's just do let me just do ls i want to just show you so this is ufw so this is the file we're actually going to be editing our before rules our before rules it's very very important that we actually edit that so i'm just going not because now if i'm actually going to do this on this now you can see that this particular uh before rules actually belongs to the roots root so uh, if i'm not i can't actually um i can't actually edit the contents of the before rules i, I only have read permission <coughs> sorry i only have read permission now for me to actually give myself that read write permission i actually have to use the sudo then 
Veeam is my default editor. I like, I love using it. Then before. Okay. So now this is the before rules. Now, when you, once you open this file, you also want to add your, your port forwarding before this filter option before this filter option you can actually add it at the top here or anywhere before this filter so to actually do uh port forwarding using ufw you're actually going to do it using uh nat which is which stands for your network address translation so i'm just going to do nat oh sorry i'm just going to do nat now i'm now i'm actually going to then start by actually uh configuring it <coughs> sorry now i'm actually going to start configuring configuring this so uh let's get on with it okay so I'm just <coughs> oh shit, sorry so i'm just going to say um in caps i want is pre routing and then I'm actually accepting, accept, then this, okay, so here I'm doing this, then pre-routing also, now the type of protocol is, is TCP, sorry, Sorry, it's P here to uh um, to, to kind of enable what protocol is actually TCP. Now the dynamic ports. Now I actually want to kind of route uh all connections coming from port eighty eighty to port eighty. So I'm actually going to say eighty eighty here then j i want to redirect redirect to port 18. so then last thing you want to do is to actually add this okay so this is basically how you actually do your port forwarding so what i'm saying here is i'm actually all incoming connections on port 80 i'm actually redirecting it to port uh sorry or incoming connections from port 8080 i'm actually redirecting it to port 80 now remember that we have actually enabled port 80 if you don't if you are putting a port you are redirecting to and it's not enabled <coughs> via sorry so I'm, I'm really having a hard time with my voice here sorry and you don't actually and uh allow the, the connection from your ufw it's just it's not just going to connect so if you are going to put let's say port port 4000 here do ensure you then you close this file and then you have to actually go and then you enable you that particular port connection but for me here yeah, i actually have actually enabled port 18 so this is this but now it's not it's not totally complete yet this is one part of it now we actually also need to enable the ipv4 um, port forwarding so this so i'll actually let's see i think it's going to be on sorry let's see yep okay this is now what we are looking for um i think this should be um okay so let me just grab for city here 
look here so this is basically the file that we actually have to enable the, the ipv4 port forwarding on so i want to do sudo vi let's see okay now you just have to come down here and look for the part that actually do it not yes this particular one on command the next one and to enable packet forwarding for ipv4 remember we've actually an, uh, um, added a port forwarding rule so we just have to uncomment this here and then we'll just have to save this there then we actually have to reload this particular file so this is so sys ctl and the p2 reload this and like so we are actually we are actually done with the port forwarding and and all so any incoming connection on port 80 it is just going to be forwarded to port 80 and also any uh incoming connection on port 80 is just going to be allowed to this is my particular machine all right thank you guys for watching do subscribe have a wonderful day thank you